Ashes of Creation plans to have many different professions within this artisan system, which is broken down into gathering, processing, and crafting professions. But there is one profession that really seems to have some hype behind it and stands out beyond the others, especially for those mount collectors out there, and that profession is the animal husbandry system. This profession lies within the processing tree and has some really cool features tied behind it, most which seem to require a freehold for you to partake in, so hopefully we see a bit more around this in the June stream. When you purchase a freehold, you have the ability to place a stable on one of the workstation slots available to you within your homestead. This building type will be crucial to animal husbandry because it's where the magic happens. Throughout your adventures, you will be able to tame pets, mounts, livestock, and beasts of burden, which are animals that can be used to help carry more equipment than your normal inventory can maintain. And then you can breed these animals within that stables. That is, as long as you choose to head into the taming gathering profession, but if you're looking to master animal husbandry in the processing tree, then you won't be able to master taming in the gathering tree, and this is where the social aspects of this MMO come in, having you rely on other players or buy what you need to help bolster that server's economy. Taming won't necessarily be as simple as walking up to an animal though, as you may need a certain combat proficiency to tame depending on the creature. Many animals will be found in herds across Vera. Herds are what represent a gatherable resource for the taming profession, and the more proficient you become at taming, the better you will be at locating, capturing, and taming these creatures from the herds. And then you can sell these animals for those seeking to refine and breed them in the animal husbandry system. Those in the processing profession, once you gather the species you desire, you'll then take these animals back to your freehold and into the stables as it's time for these animals to get to work. There are various genetic traits that all animals and pets have, and when it is time to tame them, you can bring these traits forward into that particular mount or pet you're breeding, like changing the appearance, which could potentially be done through a modified character creator. As you can see in this image, there are slight modifications to these animals depending on the breeding combination, so they are still pretty distinguishable in and what their parents may have been. You will also be able to alter the combat efficiency, the ability of those animals, endurances, and stats such as speed, health, armor, and energy. This will mostly be figured out through trial and error to determine what combinations of animals are possible, and perhaps even giving you a chance to unlock an entirely new species in the process. Those animals with more powerful traits will be hidden within rare spawns and through rare mutations discovered within the breeding. Once these animals are bred though, well, it's not all over yet, because you are now a dad or a mom and need to take care of these younglings or eggs and raise them to adulthood to be the best mount they can be. This can be done by feeding the creatures, cleaning them, taking them out for practice rides, training them to fight monsters, and so on, which is a very important part of the process because it has the greatest influence on the quality of stats and abilities of the creature once they reach adulthood. This profession I feel like will be one of the most sought after in the beginning of the game, but its complexity may steer people away from it as well as a more casual player may not have the time and research to put into this. Luckily though, there will be tools in the game to track your progress, such as keeping track of the acceptable breeding parameters, but even discovering these will take trial and error because they will not be visible to you until they are unlocked. Whether or not you can do this profession beyond the freehold system is a bit up in the air. The stables building itself doesn't seem to be bound to freehold as there are different types of stables, such as the ones that nodes have that can house mounts, along with royal stables for flying mounts. I don't believe it's been stated whether or not these ones can be used for the animal husbandry profession or only the one on the freehold. But if you do need the freehold building to even venture into this profession, then that will make those animals that can be obtained from the profession even more rare as free Freeholds are meant to be a time-consuming process and require a lot of resources to unlock. But the most challenging part of this profession, along with any of the crafting professions really, will be relying on other players because you're not going to be able to max out that taming trait and that animal husbandry trait. Although players will be able to sample each tree, they will still need other players out there selling the goods, and it seems that gatherers will probably be the first ones to get rich on a server in the beginning of the game as everyone else will need to rely on them for the resources that are beyond the tree sampling. But I'm really excited to see how these professions play out. If you made it this far into the video, then you must be liking what you're watching, so please help the channel out by clicking that subscribe button and hitting that thumbs up as we continue to grow towards Alpha 2.
too. Also, be sure to comment down below what artist and profession you are planning to master in Ashes of Creation. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. And be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.